Dean, thanks for joining us. As you know, fans have been busy the last day or two. Uh, they ask Coxie questions. Ready to go? Yeah, let's go. Uh, Evie Stark, which former Orient player do you miss playing with the most? Hmm. Obviously, Jimmy Smith's my good pal still. Um, but I'd have to say as well, Dawson. As well, Dawson, I think, uh, was a fantastic player for us. Simon Edward, footballers are prone to strange pre-match rituals. What's the strangest one you've personally witnessed? Lloyd Awusu would make himself sick, proper sick, before every game. Every game. Lloyd Awusu. For whatever reason, I don't know. He used to always be in the toilet for a good 20 minutes, feeling sick. So, yeah, definitely a strange guy. <laughs> Uh, a lot of people asking this one, but Matt Day will pick. Dean, what's your been your favourite goal this season? Favourite goal? Either Peterborough or um, Sheffield United at home. Uh, Ian Gray says, do you set yourself any goal and assist targets? Not really. Maybe goals, to be fair. Like the double figures, obviously, on there. So... Just try and get as many as I can to be honest, help the team, as many goals and as many assists as I can uh, get in the season. Jack Savides says, was it always your plan to become a professional footballer? It was to be honest, yeah, yeah, I mean I signed at Brighton when I was six, so I was a pretty young age to be playing and uh, obviously it got a bit more serious as I got older, but yeah, you know, definitely the dream and you know, luckily enough I'm, I'm living it and really enjoying it. Russell Turner, who's the best table tennis player in the squad? Cool. He's got some good players. Jonesy, Jonesy or Liz, definitely, they're right on there. Ben Graham, FIFA or Pro Evolution Soccer? FIFA, 100%. Nige Edridge says, apart from any family members, who has had the biggest influence in your footballing career? I have to be the gaffer here, I suppose. I mean, I've, I've had him. <laughs> Had him for the majority of it, to be honest. Um, you know, and appreciate that. You know, the contracts he's given are paying my mortgage off. So, you know, um, working well with him, and you know, obviously everyone knows the sort of relationship we've got. We get on really well. You know, I've known him many years. So, uh, obviously, the gaffer's helped me out a lot. But uh, yeah. Karen Harrison, she says, what has been your favourite game during this wonderful season so far? Sure, it's hard to tell you. Um, again, I'd have to say Peterborough. For the amount of fans and the result we got, and and obviously Wolves away with the, the massive crowd there with twenty eight thousand and, and two two thousand or, or um, two thousand Orient fans being there, so yeah, I'd have, definitely have to say Wolves and Peterborough again. Who's uh, this is from Simon J. Who's the best right back you've come up against so far in your career? Hmm. It's a few. I'd have to say at the moment. Uh, I can't remember his first, second name or first name. Christie at Coventry, right back. Cyrus Christie. Yeah, very, very good. Very attack minded. So you definitely know you're in a game with him. You've got to keep a, keep a look out for him. Not only going forward, but defensively, he's he's a very quick player. So uh, yeah, definitely him. Steve Coleman, what would you like to do at the end of your career? To be fair, I've been contemplating that the last few weeks. I think, to be fair, I'm going to do my coaching badges in the summer. Um, I'm not too sure uh, if I'd like to be a manager or not. Maybe as I get older, that might be more appealing. But I'd, I'd definitely like to be a coach. Robert Hawkes, what has been your favourite moment in an Orient shirt? Favourite moment? Getting the replay against Arsenal, obviously. Um, playing at the Emirates. Um, and this season, really, I mean, it's been a fantastic start, and you know we've got a very good side. Here, so you know, I'm really enjoying it. Uh, Paul Morant says, "Who's the best dressed and worst dressed player at the O's?" Best dressed, other than myself. Best dressed. Um, I think Mo's got a bit. To be fair, Moses, Moses, you know, he, he has a look on the internet and does, a, does his own work, so to speak. The worst, of course, we've got a few here. Uh, I'd have to say Marv because he comes in with the same Adidas grey tracksuit at least three times a week, so definitely Marv. Uh, a few people asked this one, Andrew Edward Gray, do you enjoy the Tiny Cox chant? 
to enjoy it. Um, personally, not really, obviously, because it's a bit bit of a Mickey tape, but it's something that's stuck, and I'm all for banner. You know, I don't mind it at all. Um, you know, as long as I'm hearing it, I know I'm doing something right. So, you know, long may it continue. Ben Graham, who is the nicest player you've played alongside during your career? Nicest, nicest guy. I'd probably have to say I'd probably say Dean Hammond who's now at Leicester City he was um, my captain at Brighton when I was 18 years old and you know he'd take the time out to speak to me and, and make me feel good about myself and uh, you know he's gone on to have a very good career Ryan Donkin can you swim? I can I know I'm only 5 foot 5 but um, yeah no, not a bad swimmer at all quite quick yeah not bad uh, Lee Kinsley, if you could play alongside any player in the world, who would it be? Cristiano Ronaldo. Nick Clark, if you could only eat one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? A twelve. Lee Swallow, have you ever had or would you ever grow a beard? <laughs> Gotta be honest, I don't think I can grow one, to be honest. <laughs> it gets to a certain stage and just stops, so uh, no, I don't think there's any chance of a, a beard coming along. Greg Ball, honestly, how many boots, pairs of boots have you got and what do you do with the old ones? To be fair, I'm quite bad for boots. I must go through five or six pairs a month, to be honest. Uh, what do I do with the old ones? Uh, normally dish them out to the fans or local charities, you know, I wouldn't just bin them. Um, you know, they do get their wear, but I just like to... Um, it's something I've always been like, I like to have fresh boots for whatever reason, I don't know, I just like the, the feeling of putting on a new pair of boots, so uh, luckily enough my mate dishes them out, so I'm not really paying for them, so I'll just call him up and he sends them along, so <laughs> it's not, if, 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 I, if I had to pay then I'd probably have two a season to be honest, because I'm quite tired. <laughs> uh, a few people have asked this one, LOFC Shane, what do you think is the best looking kit you've had to wear since you've been at Orion? Looking kit. To be fair, I like the home kit this season. Um, compared to when I first signed, the massive collar it was horrendous, I thought. But uh, yeah, no, the design now, you know, and the away kit as well, the goal kit. Um, I seem to be very lucky this season, so hopefully that continues. Nathan Blake says, I coach seven to eight year olds. Can you briefly explain the importance of being a two footed player? Mm. It's very important, actually. Yeah, I mean, when, when I, like I said, when I signed at six, the drills that we used to do with both feet, I would definitely say st that standing me in good stead for for coming on as as a player. You need to be able to obviously control the ball and and play with both. Um, so yeah, I would say it's important. Definitely, if you get it in at a young age, um, obviously the young lads will then understand that they they have to continue that on to get better as a player. So most definitely, very important. Yeah. Liam Giles, what do you love about Orient the most? What about the Orient the most? Um, tough one. I think for this season, obviously, because obviously we're doing well. Um, the team spirit that we've got here at the moment, uh, the sort of togetherness, and um, just being having the freedom to express myself this year, I feel like you know, able to just sort of. You know, Gaffer's given me a license to sort of roam, so to speak. You know, go and get on the ball and just enjoy it. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just a it's a tight knit club that that's working really well together.